Yeah, so I am really honored and humbled to be declared student of the year. Uh, though I, I really don't think I deserve it, and people closest to me probably would agree with me. <laughs> but uh, I do want to thank the class for seeing something great in me that a lot of times I probably overlook, and um, for seeing Jesus in me and focusing on that instead of my weaknesses, uh, which Paul and Nick outlined very clearly. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> in the evaluation time. And so to first start off, I just want to start by thanking some people. Pastor DeMille, uh, man, I came in with the goal to get excited about MPD, and I can honestly say I am. Um, and it's through you just pouring out and sharing testimonies mm -hmm. about what's happened in your life, uh, as well as the knowledge that you bring with that. And so thank you for letting me complete that goal in this. Uh, Pastor Greg, you have poured into my life for about three years. And my testimony about being baptized in the Holy Spirit, my testimony about uh, getting confirmed into full-time ministry, they all have your name in them. And so just thank you for being who you are. And uh, Pastor Paul, though he's not here, uh, I'm not the best at showing appreciation or honor or giving attention, but I am really, uh, truly blessed and really thankful for him generously sharing a wealth of knowledge that he has in many matters of the faith. And he's challenged me, and he had he somehow created such a great discussion uh, learning environment. Uh, he was open to questions, and he would just take on the tangents, and I, I love those type of classes, so thank you. And finally, Pastor Nick, um, I know me, you, and the ECU crew go back in history, uh, but I, true, I truly do want to honor you as a, a pastor. And I don't use that term lightly. And so uh, the ministry that God used to pursue me in North Carolina, to change me, to save me, and to solidify my identity in Christ, had you as its leader in 2011 when I got baptized. And so thank you. Um, and finally, on to the meat. I'm just going to share basically one scripture with you. And I'm it obviously... Uh, Pastor Paul and Nick have such great confidence in my speaking ability because they gave me a whopping five minutes. <laughs> so, thank you. Nonetheless, I'll take it. Um, I'm going to read out of 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4, and it's just one scripture. And I don't think I need to go too much into it because it's just so plain. Um, but Paul's writing to Timothy, and he says, But just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, so we speak not to please men, but to please God who examines our hearts. Amen. And so we should all know, right? We should all know this gospel. That Christ died on the cross for me and you. And though me and Greg don't have the same testimonies, me and Ryan, me and Chris, we don't have the same testimonies. It was the same gospel that transformed our lives. And so we should all know the, the love that God has for us calling that he has on each and, and I don't use this scripture lightly and so I've thought about it and i prayed about it and I think it pertains to each and every person that has graduated from the school and so it's this same gospel that Christ went to the cross for you why Colossians 2 12 to 14 says but you who are dead in your transgressions the uncircumcision of your flesh God made alive together with him having forgiven us all our trespasses by canceling the record of debt was set against us with its legal demands. This he set aside nailing to the cross. And so that's the gospel. And scripture plainly says that you and me have been entrusted with that. We've been entrusted with that to bring to the nations. And it starts on our college campuses. It starts with your friends. If I could stand in front of 28,000 ECU students and share the gospel with them and invite them to a relationship with Christ, I would in a heartbeat. And so what's stopping you from sharing this gospel that you've been entrusted with? And I know that Paul has equipped us, Nick has fought for us, ENC is employing us, and our partners are going to send us, but who has approved us? God has approved us to be entrusted with the gospel that has so delicately transformed our lives. And so my empowerment to you is what are you going to do with the gospel that's been entrusted with you? Share it with everyone you can. 